Hey everyone, my name is Ryan Cole and I'm a graduate assistant for Dr. K this semester. In this video, I'll be walking you through how to create an ER diagram using draw.io. So to start, if you just Google search draw.io, select the first link, then select create a new diagram. And in this case, we'll be using the ent entity relationship diagram because it has all the tools that we need. So I'll start by removing everything because we won't be needing it. And the first thing I'll do is I'll move the, uh, the paper orientation to landscape. And then, then I'll go down to ent entity relation on the left side where I can select my list to start creating my dimension tables. And if you need to add more uh, attributes, you can just select item and drag it onto the list. But for this table, we won't be needing any. So I'll start by naming it my first dimension, which will be the period dimension. Then I'll start adding in my attributes. First will be the period ID, which is our primary key, so we'll mark that. And also the, the variable type, which is an integer. I'll continue on with semester ID. And I'll again indicate its variable type as an integer. Last is year. So you'll have to do this for each table uh, marking the primary key and the data type. Uh, to save some time, I've already made the other tables, so I'll copy them in. So once you have all your dimension tables made, you can create the fact table. And you can see it, it incorporates all of the other, the dimension tables primary keys as a composite primary key. So you have to mark them both as a primary key and as a foreign key. Again, make sure you uh, indicate all of the data types. The last step here is to put in our relationships. So in this case, we'll be using a mandatory, a one mandatory to many mandatory relationship. So for this table, our one to many will be going on the fact table and the one to one will be going to the dimension tables. And this is going to be the case for all of our relationships. Now creating the relationship for the other side of the table because the these lines don't automatically flip, we'll have to just change the uh, the arrows on the right side under on this setting. So in this case, we'll change the one to one to the one to many, and the one to many to a one to one. And again, we'll be putting the one to one on the dimension table and the one to many on the student table. Do this for the last dimension table. And that is how we'll be creating the ER diagram using draw.io. As a final step, make sure in one of the corners you include a text box where you provide your name, the date, and the assignment that you've just completed. So that concludes the video on how to create a ER diagram using the Blue Ridge University as an example.